what is going on guys c4 iq here with a video trying to explain what proration is in guilty gear games what i'm going to do is give the tldr version or i guess in this alliteration is the tldw watch uh, but i'm going to give you the short version basically and uh if you want to just take that and then go about your day whether it be even commentating spectating just have an understanding of maybe why certain combo routes are better in situations why players pick certain combo routes at different thresholds of health all that sort of jazz it's one of those things that you don't need to know the complete detailed in integral part of the mechanic to understand when you've seen it or when it can be effective it's kind of one of those mechanics uh, but the tldw of proration is it's damage scaling bound to an attack or a button that's basically it this game does have scaling damage scaling uh what proration does is it kind of bounds that mechanic to an attack whether it be uh, a fireball uh, a normal a jump in whatever that's what it does uh, i've got an example obviously with my guy leo the example is going to show close s and far s now like i said the game does have regular scaling and by regular scaling i kind of mean in every game the more hits you do the damage gets reduced right so one hit will do its original base damage the second hit will be its base damage take away like 10 percent, for example that is still in the game there's mechanics in the game like risk where you can basically circumvent that. Uh, in this example, you're gonna basically see the damage from a close heavy, uh, sorry, a close slash, which is the headbutt attack, and the damage from a fast slash. Uh, with the whole Gatlin system, you can go from one to the other. Now, with the risk, risk is a very good mechanic to show how this kind of works, right? The headbutt does 40 damage, normally. When you do headbutt into headbutt, demonstrated by doing close s which is headbutt rapid cancel into close s again the second one does 35 right but what risk does is it basically forces the game to go you see that first attack i'm doing ignore that there's no scaling after this that's why it does 40 and 40 the second time i hit him in the combo that's what risk does it risk when you hit someone and they've got risk it basically forces the game to go the next button they do that's going to do max damage and if you've got a lot of risk it just does that for all the other buttons some buttons have better proration this is the key thing with this some buttons allow you to go to do max damage again as you can see here far s doesn't do that so even with risk far s will still scale where close s if you've got a bunch of risk that's the combo starter you want because that's going to do a grip of damage because the button after that basically allows the combo to start later on sorry it allows the damage to start getting scaled later on uh hopefully i didn't make a complete mess of that like i said the tldr is proration is scaling damage scaling bound to a button uh if people found this helpful i'll do a few more the stuff like guts defense modifiers that i kind of wanted to do uh, a lot of other mechanics in the game that can help to know even if you're just planning to play casually or just spectate uh, I don't want these to be sort of hardcore you need to know stuff uh, so yeah hopefully that was helpful let me know I'll be doing stuff like this for Guild Gear Strife and mostly Leo because that's the character I play and yeah uh, take it easy guys in a bit